RuneScape, an open world game full of endless possibilities and challenges. You have skills which begin at level 1 and are leveled up over time to unlock more content. Fishing and cooking, wood cutting and fire making, mining and smithing, crafting and rune crafting, and of course, combat stats such as range, magic, health, strength, attack and defense. Over time, you will be able to make, find and wear better armor and weapons and take on more difficult monsters and bosses. This account is a free-to-play Iron Man. The end goal is to complete every available quest, obtain all the best gear, gain access to the most exclusive total level worlds, and finally defeat both new bosses. Should be a great series reliving where my enjoyment of gaming all began. Let's go. Well, here we go. It is time for episode five. Welcome to the Champions Guild. Let's go. It is time to do Dragon Slayer. We finished all of the combat stats that I wanted to complete in terms of melee. We have the levels that we need in terms of magic and smithing. We're ready to go. I have all of the weapons either on me or in the bank that we need to do the quest. So it's time to start this thing. And I'm so excited to get this thing done. Every free to play quest is done except Dragon Slayer. So for this quest, uh, we're probably going to go through most of it in the episode here. Um, a lot of it will probably just be time lapse of me cruising through everything. But basically, here's what the quest entails. We talk to a guy in here, go through a bunch of dialogue stuff, and he tells us about the dragon and a map that we need and a boat and all this kind of stuff. And so once we finish talking to the guy, which I think it's him, then he's going to tell us to go finish a map. There's three parts to the map, so we're going to run around to different things, accomplish some different goals. And get the three different map pieces once we do that we can use the pieces on each other to complete the map then we'll know where to go and then we use the nails that we made in a couple episodes ago and repair the boat then we get ready with all of our armor and food and weapon and everything and then we take the boat to the island and then we climb down and hopefully kill the dragon and at that point we can wear a rune plate body and a green dragon hide body so those will be our best in slot chest pieces for melee and range so uh, I'm really excited for this one I'm probably going to get a couple of defense and one or two strength levels from this quest as well and then we'll be done all of our quests so I'm really excited let's get this thing started and uh, I'll let you guys know where we're at along the way let's go beautiful we got our dragon fire shield or anti-dragon shield uh, so without this, we pretty much get one shot. Alright, so we are just arriving at this jail. This is the home of our first map piece. So this guy here called Wormbrain. You have two choices. It's either pay him 10,000 coins for his piece of the map or kill him and telegrab it. So... That's why we got the magic, so we don't have to spend the 10k. So here we go. Perfect one shot telekinetic grab on map part. Beautiful. Number one, let's move on to the second and probably the most difficult. We've got a maze to get through and quite a few difficult monsters ending with a lesser demon. It says that you can safe spot them, so hopefully that works out. And we have some food and things uh, just in case, so should be all good. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Lesser Demon. This is the last major monster that we have to kill apparently if you go back towards this door he can't get to you and we should be able to kill him without needing to use any food or anything so oh boy that's nice perfect look at that let's go Awesome. Piece number two. Let's go get our third. OK, 
Okay, so we've started the third one. We just have to run down into the mine, use these four items, which obviously I knew what they were to begin with, use them on a door and it should open and we get the last piece of the map from a chest. So let's go find it. Nice. We're in. Open. Search. Let's go. Use. Awesome. We have our Crandor map. Let's go bank, get everything ready to go, and we need to go repair that boat. All right, here's our man Clarence. He's gonna sell us a boat. And then, oops, <laughs> poor seagull. And then this will be our boat that we use to go to the island. So we just need to fix it, talk to a few more people, get ready to go. Let's do it. geared up we've got our full addy rune sword dragon shield tons of food and we have a teleport out if we need it quickly or if we finish it then we can just teleport to varrock quickly and finish the quest i just want to say before we actually do this thing i have not done this quest for easily probably 15 years which is crazy, but like once we finished these quests and we were playing the game on and off, you know, in late teens and stuff like that, it was more like member stuff or just grinding skills. Like I haven't actually done the free to play quests for such a long time. And this was the quest, like the thing to finish when we were kids and like getting this done was huge. Having full rune, you felt like a complete unit and you know, this was kind of like the end game for us in terms of like questing and, and big accomplishment before it was just grinding for gear or money or uh, skills or total level or whatever it was that you did. But for me, this really signifies so much of what was like the pinnacle of free to play RuneScape, you know, 15 years ago. So I'm very excited for this. Let's get on that island and do this. Well, here we are on Crandor. This is the famous spot where the moss giants are, so this will probably be where we end up uh, grinding moss giants for keys. So we're going to be here quite a bit at some point in the future. Oh, we have to go this way. But this is where we land with the boat. And then at the top here is the dungeon that's actually connected to, to Karamja. So before when uh, I was doing the lobster fishing in like episode two or something, and I was talking about um, remembering everything, this is what I was talking about where this leads to the dungeon that leads to the lesser demons that leads to the skeletons that goes up to the moss giants. We are on that island now, which is so funny because I talked about that, you know, how long ago? Oh, I'm getting so excited for this. This has been like a long time in waiting. Well, 15 years and just a long time in the series waiting. So I'm so excited to do this. I don't remember this at all. Let's go. All right, here's the skeletons I was talking about. The dragon is in this pit right here. So couple things before we get this fight started. One, 
there's actually a way in the southwest corner, I think, that you can flinch the dragon. So basically the dragon gets stuck. You come out, hit it, hide, hit it, hide. And you take no damage. But I want to do this fight like more straight up. So we're actually going to fight it properly. Um, what we may do if we're getting hit and I need to eat is step underneath the dragon and then eat. So we're eating and it's not taking time and the dragon kind of has to like move backwards. And so the dragon can't attack you at the same time type thing, right? So let's climb over this wall and uh, let's get this party started. I'm so pumped. Here we go. We're in. All right. He hits us an eight right off the bat. And then, oh my gosh. A 10? A 10, let's go. That's huge. Oh, a 10 back, are you kidding me? Two 10s in a row? Oh my goodness, that is crazy. All right. Oh, another 10, let's go. This is going well. We should have lots of food left over too. This is perfect. Yes, we did it. <laughs> My, I just ripped a dragon's head off. What? That's a thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is awesome. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. We're going to run over here to a wall and open it so that we have the ability to walk here from Karamja later. And then uh, we'll teleport out and finish this quest. That is amazing. Amazing. Let's go. We did it. Dragon Slayer is completed. Strength XP, Defense XP, Rune and Dragon Plates. Let's go. The rune plate body is 84,000 gold. <laughs> Value, 84K. And now there's dragon fire shields too. That's crazy. So let's go check out our bank. Okay, so here's what we're working with. Every single quest is done. So we no longer have to worry about that in free to play and we can do our own thing. So here's what we're looking at. We've still got a little bit of food. We have basically no money and in order to buy the couple of room pieces that we need, it's like another 140K or something like that. And then obviously a little bit for green dehyde as well. So we need to be making some money. Got lots of stuff to start range. Gonna take a minute to figure out what I wanna do to finish off this episode and we'll go from there. All right, well, I've done a bit of thinking and planning and have made some decisions about what's gonna be happening next in terms of the account. So I was gonna go do a bunch of boring stuff and just make a bunch of money, but I've decided that I'm gonna do something different because it's more fun and because there's a ton of stuff to do and it'll probably take an entire episode, next one. So here's what we're gonna do. We have not touched range yet. It is still level one. And it is the only combat stat that I haven't done anything with. And so because we have a ton of arrows, I bought one of each bow. I have the level 20 equipment for it. We're just going to do a bunch of range training and hopefully get it up to level 40. At level 40, we can wear green dragon hide, which we just unlocked the green dragon hide chest for it, the body. And so we haven't bought it yet. We don't even have the money to buy it yet. But at least if we get to 40, 
the next episode we spend some time getting a bunch of best in slot equipment making a bunch of money doing some skilling for some necessary items for later on which i'm excited to do uh at least this is kind of getting ready for that so we're probably gonna spend some time in the varrock dungeon reason is nostalgia it's so classic spent so much time here it's just oh i'm so excited there's like zombies here and skeletons over here and then there's ghosts here and then camera what's over here something a little bit harder than that and then there's red spiders over here and moss giants it's just like such a classic dungeon so i'm going to spend some time in here if we start running low on arrows we'll go kill minotaurs again uh just to get our arrow count up because we don't have a ton of money to buy more but uh this will be fun i'm excited let's do it let's get to 40 range and we'll call it a day on this one I am like freaking Robin Hood. Look at this. 40 range. Let's go. Beautiful. There's only two skills we haven't touched. Every single quest is done. Oh, that feels good. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed. I'm excited for next time. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much. Peace out.